What's up YouTube subscribers? Welcome to Musty Yeti's Tactical HQ. Well it's time to finally do an official review of Battle Arms Development's Ambidextrous Safety Selector, or BADASS for short, and uh, give my final thoughts on the product. Um, before I get started on the video, I want to warn you guys this is going to be a fairly stagnant video. Uh, there's not much to really show here, I just uh, have the AR out to show you the actual lever itself when I talk about it. Um, and also before I get into it, I want to first thank Roger uh, from BAD for giving me the shot to test out and review their selector. Um, he's a great guy and an awesome representative of the people they have over there at BAD. So once again, you guys are looking at uh, BAD's Ambi Safety Selector. This is their five piece set that gives the user 25 very different variations. I'm going to just list uh, some features that can be found on their website. I suggest if anyone wants to know more to check out their website because I'm sure I'm going to leave some, uh, some stuff out. Um, I'll go ahead and annotate their website up in the corner so if you haven't, go check it out. This selector is machined from a solid piece of bar stock and it's completely made in the USA. Uh, it has a magnesium phosphate finish in matte black. Uh, the levers have, I hope you guys can see it there, have diagonal grooves to help the user get a more positive grip when flipping from safe to fire. Uh, it comes with a hardened stainless steel safety detent for smoother operation and longer life. Uh, they supply the KNS stainless steel detent with the selector because they are aware that an old worn out detent could have a negative impact on the rotation smoothness and also the positive engagement of those detent holes. Now this KNS detent is not the run of the mill detent found in most lower parts kits. Uh, they went for the best they could find. And it really shows how much uh, thought Battle Arms development puts into their products. One thing to take note of is the uh, torque screws that are noticeably larger than the Allen head screws. Um, the longer torque screws have 50% more thread than the stubby Allen screws. And because they're torques, they allow the user to put a lot more torque on the screws without cam, without cam out, um, where the screwdriver slips off the head of the screw. More importantly, the uh, Allen head tends to get stripped when the thread locker has been applied to set it. Uh, Torx uh, will allow the user to unscrew it without using a propane torch or stripping the head of the screw. You guys might notice that I'm now sporting a different lever uh, than I had on my install. I really wanted to test out the product so I tried out several lever combinations until I found one that worked for me. I, rec I recommend if you guys get the Ambi Safety Selector, you try all the levers until you find out what works best for you. Uh, don't make the mistake I did and apply thread locker until you found the lever that works for you. Although I'm glad I did because it made it possible for me to test out those torque screws to see how they handled being loosened with the thread locker applied. And I had zero issues. Uh, I've actually talked to several people who fired thousands and thousands of rounds through their ARs uh, with this specific Ambi safety selector uh, installed and they didn't use any thread locker and had no issues with it loosening up. Um, it shows how strong that torque screw really is. Um, now here comes a little warning guys. The 45 degree selector will not work on standard receivers. They purposely put a small stainless steel pin um, on the selector axis to prevent its use as a drop in part. Uh, you would have to remove the pin if you want it to work for a 90 degree receiver. Um, if you want to do that modification, it will void the warranty, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, there are a few companies like AXTS, AR15.com, and Spikes Tactical that are coming out with receivers soon that are compatible with the 45 degree and 90 degree selector. Um, Battle Arms development does not suggest or recommend uh, that modification. The removal of the pin does not compromise the function uh, or integrity of the selector. It's using the selector on receivers it's not intended to work with, so just don't do it. Alright, now that all that's out of the way, I can get into some of my personal thoughts on the actual review. So I did have some concerns when I originally installed the Ambi switch a long time ago. Uh, you guys should always be cautious about adding complexity to your weapons. Everything you add is just one more piece that can possibly break. Uh, the BAD ASS, uh, like all Ambi uh, selectors, requires a screw to fasten the left side lever. However, uh, BAD also allows you to customize the right side of your lever, which requires another screw. So you have one additional screw versus other Ambi safety selectors, um, but it's obvious that people at BAD have put a lot of thought into how to stop potential failures. I found that my original Ambi switch uh, worked great, but for me, it interfered with my trigger finger when resting on my rifle, like I talked about it before. Um, BAD fixes the issue by offering several levers that are designed to stay out of the way of your trigger finger. The BAD ASS definitely adds functionality. Not only does it allow you to operate the selector with your thumb of your weak side hand if you switch shoulders, but also allows you to operate the selector with your trigger finger of your strong side hand. 
As you guys know, I took this thing out and shot a few uh, rounds through my rifle. But more importantly, I spent roughly a week sitting on my living room couch, flipping this uh, switch from safe to fire over and over again uh, to get a really good feel on how the selector really operates. I noticed with my other ambi switch that it felt sloppy. Uh, the BAD ambi switch clicks positively into position. That's partly due to the hardened stainless steel detent that comes included. It has a great design, guys. Its quality of construction is excellent. It's customizable, and its increased functionality might just make it, like others have said, the selector to end all selectors. Um, that's it, guys. I hope I didn't forget anything. If I did, I'm sure you saw a bunch of annotations. If you have any questions on the BAD ASS, just shoot me a message. Uh, thanks for watching. Everyone stay safe. See you soon.